Here's how to make a simple blueprint interaction system in Unreal Engine 4 fast. Make a fresh third-person project if you want to follow along, or boot up whatever fresh brainchild you're concocting to hopefully someday show the world. We're going to use interfaces to make this work. An interface is a way for different blueprints to talk to each other without having to have a direct reference to one another. Make a new folder named Interfaces. Instead of that, right-click and choose the Blueprint section, Blueprint Interface. Name it I underscore Interaction. Open that bad boy up. Unreal should automatically create a new function for you. If it doesn't, click Add New Function. Name it something snazzy, like interact. When you click it, on the lower right you'll see some options to add inputs and outputs. This is where you add the information you want to send. You can use these to do pretty much whatever you want. I'm going to return a string to print. And now you're done with the interface. What's that? You want to know how to actually use it? Jeez, fine, I'll explain. We'll need an interact button and something to interact with. Let's start with our interactable. In your blueprints folder, right click, make a new blueprint class of type actor. Name it BP underscore interactable parent, and then go tell your mom you added her to your game. <laughs> Open it up. Under class settings, you'll see an interfaces tab. Hit add, and then search for your interface. Then we'll add a sphere collision so we know when we're overlapping with this guy. I'm going to set hidden in game to false so we can see it. Hit compile and save. Now in the my blueprint tab under interfaces, you should see the function we created earlier. Double click on it to open it up. Look familiar? Here we need something to say when the player interacts. How about... Uh, you feel snazzy. Now we just need the player to be able to interact with it. Instead of going through setting up inputs, we'll just open up the third person character blueprint and add an input E. You might have to scroll around a bit to find it. After that we'll add a get all overlapping actors and set the class filter to your interactable parent. Then add a for each loop with break. This way we go through each actor the player is overlapping with and when we find one we interact and stop looking. So off of array element we interact, print the string that it returns and break. Compile, save, toss one of your interact actors into the level and try it out. Snazzy.